I'm laying down my rights Second guessing You can have my yes I'm giving you my fear Of never knowing Whatever's coming next I know you've got me You can have my yes jitters out. It's going. Lord, thank you for the light. Thank you for the light shining from the inside. The light of Christ. You're the lamp, you're the light, you're the cloud that guides me. And you're the way, you're the truth, you're the life inside. You conquered my fears, so I'll leave it all behind. And I'm running to the light. You're the lamp, you're the light, the cloud that guides me. You're the way, you're the truth, you're the life inside me. You conquered my fears, so I'll leave it all behind. And I'm running to the light. got some special friends for this next song. Everybody, Matt Marr and Dante Bo.
you must be praised you must be praised no greater name no greater name oh you sit high and look low you sit high and look low all power belongs to him
the blood is still the blood and the cross is still the answer it's the blood is still the blood <laughs> the cross is still the answer not politics no 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 the blood and the cross still stands. Hey, the cross is still. It's our answer, our answer. And the blood is still the blood. Declare it over our nation, over your family. The cross.
There's nothing like your nearness There's nothing like your closeness yeah. Cause when I'm with you I come alive, I come alive Oh, just worship Him now Oh, pull on heaven tonight <laughs> There's nothing like your nearness I could 
could sing these songs as I often do, but every song must end.
That's okay. Oh. We got a few uh, really pretty ones. Are you guys cool with that? I want to invite up a great friend and uh, got to write this song with her. Um, Sarah Reeves is going to come up and sing this next song with me. This is called Lost in Your Love. <clears throat> this one was a fun one because it was a gift from God. I think I was, we were here in Nashville and she graciously agreed to write with me. And it was my third write of the day and I was brain fried. And by the grace of God, he gave us this sweet song. And uh, you know, there's one thing to know God's love, but there's like a whole nother to just kind of get lost in it. And that's what's so good about God, right? And the more you get to know him, the more you realize you have so much more to discover. And uh, it's endless. Like who else, is, <laughs> who else is worthy of that kind of worship but a God who is endless? And uh, so if you're here in the room or you're watching some time from now, I pray that you come to know come to experience what it feels like to get lost in the best way possible in the love of God. Amen. I just want to be close to your heart This is where my healing finds its start Here is where I find my peace When my soul is finally free I'm going on
trust in you forever Take me
Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your love and your grace and that you invite us. <laughs> no matter what we've done, no matter where, we, where you find us, you take us deeper. We love you so much. Your love is amazing. Amen. I contemplated calling this House of Miracles with friends because there's so many friends on this project. Uh, you guys welcome up the one and only Leland. Um, this one's really special to me. I'm going to ditch this uh, guitar. Um, this one's really special because it's just one of those songs that um, there's nothing clever to it. It just takes me in, into the presence, you know? Sometimes, like, as a songwriter um, or someone who's, like, grown up in the church, you look for the clever thing. How many of you know we just need the glory? Yes. We don't need clever. Yes. Clever's cool. Don't get me wrong. Yes. But we really need the glory of God. Yes. And Bill Johnson once said something I'll never forget. <clears throat> he said, we were asking him, what are, what, are, what are we not writing about that we need to write about? Great question. He said, I don't hear many songs about the glory of God. So he said, why, why so important? Why the glory? He said, because when the glory of God comes in the room, nothing else is needed. <laughs> no one needs to preach. No one really needs to sing. It's just the glory. We've arrived. And like I said, it's endless. And so, for me, this has been a song that has taken me into the glory, has ushered the glory in to my room when I needed it, in the car, and I've played this back. And um, this is Show Me Your Glory.
this moment, but I feel like whether it's someone here in the room or it's someone watching, but I feel like the Holy Spirit told me that there's someone who is, doesn't have peace with God right now. And that right now is your moment to re receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And maybe it's, maybe it's just been a long time for you. But as we sang, you felt the pull and that tug to come home. And I don't wanna make this long because it's really simple. The Bible says that whoever believes, and I don't even know why we've made it into this long prayer. The truth is if you just believe. But there's a moment and there's an opportunity we can draw a line in the sand right now. And I don't wanna pass by this moment. But the glory of the Lord has so come upon you and has told you, come home. I'm your father. I have your future and your destiny. I have gifts, I have blessing for you. But you gotta turn from your old ways and step into this new life with Jesus. So if that's you, whether you're here or just under the sound of my voice, I want you just to say this. Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner, but I believe, God, you sent your son <laughs> to this earth to live a sinless life. And you took upon the cross in place of me. I should have been on that cross, but you took that from me. And you died and you were buried in a cold grave but you rose again three days later. And now because of that payment, I get to have this relationship with you, Father God. And so I believe in you. And right now in this moment, I declare, I believe in you and I receive the gift of your Holy Spirit. Jesus inside of you. God, thank you that you now walk with me for eternity. And I'm born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have a few more songs. Um, is that cool? You guys good? 
This one's the title track of my record. Um, this is called House of Miracles. And this one's really important to me. You guys are gonna have to sing real loud because I'm losing my voice. Has it been good so far? Isn't God amazing? Ah. I'm just so glad I'll have this for myself. All my heroes on my record. So this is House of Miracles. And this one means a lot to me because it's been kind of the theme of my life over the past uh, six months to a year. And, and uh, this is what I want everyone to understand, that you too can be a house of miracles, that miracles aren't just kept in the box of a church, a local church, but your house, your, your home can be a house of miracles. The hospital that you're laying in right now can be a house of miracles. The school that you attend can be a house of miracles. Me and my family just moved homes a few, few months ago. And so this message became just so like, so real, so in our face that God wanted us to establish a house of miracles and then release that truth that you too can do that. You, you can encompass, you can be a house of miracles because the spirit of God lives in you. And so this is my prayer. This is what I believe the record is, is a house of miracles. And this is what I want for every home in the world, every hospital, every school, every business place to be a house of miracles, amen. This is a house of worship This is a place of praise Where every demon trembles Where we proclaim your name This is a house of Our hearts are full of faith. You have our full attention. You have the final say. So come alive in the name of Jesus. Peace. 
moment um, God has taught me a lot about miracles and that he is still moving and still healing and still resurrecting and I didn't want this moment to pass by and not take this opportunity and so I've invited my friend Joshua Silverberg up to the stage and I want him to pray over us whether you're here in the room or you're listening I believe that God's gonna heal so many people and this is gonna happen years and years to come as people watch this. You're gonna be healed. And you're listening to this maybe even in, in your room and you're gonna be set free and you're gonna be healed. And we even have a testimony. Um, Joshua's become a great friend and uh, how I, I met you was through Micah back here playing guitar, absolutely slaying it. But Micah had a disease for about four or five years that they couldn't figure out what it was. And he'd be, I remember bro, like just, you being laid, like laid out on the floor, just like, I remember you telling me like, I don't know if I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. And we prayed over Micah, what seemed like a million times, you know? And all of a sudden, this stranger, but brother in Christ calls Micah on the phone in a matter of minutes and continuing to pray, something broke and electricity hit Micah in the top of the head and went through his body and completely delivered him from that disease. And so that testimony is in the room and that testimony is going out right now. And so I've asked Josh to come and pray for us as we have this holy moment where people are gonna be healed, delivered and set free. Yeah, we just thank you Jesus right now that that testimony is actually himself. That testimony is you, Jesus. You are in this room. Not the theory of you, not an idea of you, but you are actually in this room. Holy Spirit, come and illuminate our eyes to see you. None of us would doubt for a second if Jesus, if you saw him with your eyes, that you wouldn't be delivered in the spot. But I'm telling you right now that he is here. Holy Spirit, come right now, illuminate our eyes to Jesus. What are you carrying that he said, cast it on me? What are you believing that is opposite of his love for you in this moment? I speak to every lie in the mighty name of Jesus, bow. Everything that's contrary to the love of Jesus Christ for you in this moment, we say, get out. (laughs) 
earlier in worship, I saw Jesus come in here. I don't care if some people don't get that. The best way I can describe it is this. If you were standing in your house and you heard footsteps come up behind you and you knew who it was, Jesus is in this place. He's already touching people right now. He's already healing you. You're being set free right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Some people are being really delivered right now. Mental illness is leaving. Brain injuries is leaving right now. In this moment, the, the way that you think, thought patterns are being rearranged to the image of Christ right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Soul wounds, fractured, places where you feel fractured. The hand of God is touching them right now. No one can heal the soul but Jesus Christ. His hand is on your soul right now. Thank you, Father. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, we declare you're healed and whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Every affliction, come off. Every sickness come out, all of it. It doesn't matter what it is. Tumors, we command you to dissolve right now in the name of Jesus. Rise up from that bed of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sickness go. Be healed, be made whole in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, his hand is upon you. He loves you. He's for you. And above it all, I just pray for a revelation of Jesus Christ to stay with you from this moment, to know that he never leaves, not for a second. It's impossible. So the last time we just say, in the mighty name of Jesus, be healed, be made whole, be delivered, all of it. It doesn't matter what it is. Jesus defeated it on the cross. In the mighty name of Jesus. So wherever you are in your room, wherever you are watching this later, wherever you are right here in this moment, just begin to do something you can't do because now you can. Many people already feel lighter. That's the oppression of the ways of the world just lifting off of you. Start to move. You have a tumor in a spot, press it right now. You have trouble uh, thinking certain ways. You can't see, take out a Bible and start reading, whatever it is. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare a blessing over your family. You are a house of miracles. I see ruins being restored. Every bit of division, we say, fall now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We speak blessing into the home, peace into the home. You are a moving, breathing house of miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive. In the name of Jesus, this is a house of miracles. And we bring everything to the feet of Jesus. Everything in the name of Jesus, this is a house of 
Come on, let's give God glory. Come on. You've probably heard this before as there's so many worshipers in the room. This scripture, Romans 12. This next song is called Living Sacrifice. This is my prayer and this has been my offering as it should be all of ours. This is a living sacrifice. I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Our job, this is why we're here, this is why we're alive, to put ourselves on the altar and to be an offering whether it's an action or it's a song, all of it, everything we do to be a living sacrifice for Christ.
because you're worthy of everything. We're here to burn for you. Come on, sing. I'll give you. Thank you, Lord. We have one more song. We got one more song. And uh, I get to invite my brother, Dante Bo, back up. All right. It's time for the Holy Ghost.
bitch. Something that's tailor made, not something that kind of fits. Beating on heaven's door until I encounter it. Somebody tell the Lord, get used to the sound of it. Hey! Had to get my weight up, purpose wouldn't wait up. Stuck between my flesh and my spirit, gotta stay prayed up. Cause the enemy doing the most. He better keep that same energy when we alone. Cause I refuse to be an enemy in my own home. I need a holy Thank you all so much. We love you guys. Have an amazing night. Thank you for coming to House of Miracles Live.